back to another video guys it's the spicy boys and today we're back again with another Genshin Impact recipe video Genshin Impact recently released a new character called Yanfei a pyro mage character or Yanfei for you who don't speak Chinese and yeah as per usual they come with a signature dish so today that's what we're making Yanfei's dish is called My Way. It's based on the crab roe tofu. It looks really interesting. It has some uh, tofu and a little coin on top. It's gonna be interesting. To see yeah, how yeah. it's gonna be. Uh, Let's see if we can make it. <laughs> Let's go to the market yeah. uh, again. Yeah. Oh, and before we get into the cooking, I have 30 rolls and Genshin Impact saved up for this occasion to hopefully get Yanfei. But secretly, I'm hoping to get Geo Daddy. But anyway. Let's cook. Right. What's up guys, we're back from our shopping trip and these are some of the ingredients that we got. I'm gonna be working on the coin and Simon's gonna work on the tofu. So let's get started. So the coin on top looks like a thick sauce, but I thought it would be cool to make a hard caramel shaped coin. I know it's a bit weird, but I thought creme brulee is kind of similar and tastes pretty good, so why not give it a try? So to start off, I shaped the carrot into a square. And since I'm a bit too broke to buy a cookie cutter shape, I thought let's make a couple of DIY molds that uh, actually don't look too promising. And to make the caramel, I put some sugar and water in a pan and let it come to a boil. Once it was boiling, I turned the heat on low and waited until it turned amber. Then I quickly poured it in the molds we made and please be careful with glass and something really hot because it could shatter so don't try this at home i'm just doing it for the video but yeah after letting it cool it was time to see the moment of truth okay guys we tried so many times look at all the versions we made if you try this at home don't don't put it on this because <laughs> it's fucking stuck it turns out best one this one man and i hope this one will be fine too <laughs> Fuck! So wait this one's actually Hell yeah! Yeah, I'm actually really surprised that kind of worked out. So for the actual dish, we learned that it's based on a Chinese dish called crab roe tofu. But since I might be allergic to crab and we're too broke for seafood, we had to find a way to make the dish without it. And I found this very nice video that teaches you how to make it, so here we go! Step 1. We need some salted eggs. What we did was we cured them overnight a day in advance. To get our eggs cured, I toasted some spices and a bunch of salt for a little bit to activate the spices. While we waited for that to cool, I had to separate 4 egg yolks. This part was super scary for me because if you watched our Noelle's Lighter Than Air pancake video, you might remember me failing to separate 2 out of the 4 egg yolks in that video. And well, I haven't had much practice since then. But luckily, I've ascended a few times since and it looks like we're 4 out of 4 this time. Anyway, all that was left was to bury these egg yolks in the spiced up salt and leave that in the fridge overnight. The next day has come and it was time to check our eggs. They still look a little wet. Maybe they needed another day or two, but we don't have that kind of patience. And here's where, if you decide to try this dish, I strongly advise you not to do what I did wrong here. You see, I didn't want to lose a lot of the yolk, so I didn't brush off all the salt. In fact, I left quite a fair bit on them, and that resulted in a very salty sauce. Not my best moment, but hey, we learned something new. Anyway, onto the tofu. Now if you saw our last video, you'll know that we used some extra smooth silken tofu. And well, this time we got silken again, but our experience was not smooth at all. Check this out. Dude, what the fuck? This brand sucks. Yep, I got mad at tofu. Anyway, once I actually managed to get the packaging plastic off, I had to face the issue of not breaking it since this dish is very clean looking and we only have enough tofu for one try. Luckily, I've watched enough anime to know what to do next. Man, what is wrong with me? Okay, okay, okay. Time to get this tofu inside the square form. 
After straining all my brain cells, I figured out the 200 IQ way to get these into a square, and well, look at that. Look, I don't care what you guys say, but I'm proud of that one. Anyway, the last step for this was to turn it over, cut the tofu a few more times to get that 5x5 grid, and throw it in a steamer for 10 minutes alongside the egg yolks from earlier. Anyway, I'll stop talking now so you guys can enjoy the shots of us putting the final product together. Okay guys, we just finished and I don't know, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna be curious about the combination of the caramel and the tofu. I yeah. Know, what do you think? I mean, when I made the um, the sauce, it was a very salty sauce. So I think the caramel of the sweetness might actually play a huge part in this dish, even though I don't think it was supposed to be caramel. But I think, hey, maybe we stumbled upon something amazing. Right? Yeah. Let's find out. Let, let's let's just try it. Yeah. I'm actually very curious. I've never had anything like this, so Dan, I'll, I'll let you go for it. Should I go for both? Ooh, that's kind of hard. I don't even. Yeah, I don't think. Can I, can I break this like firmly? No. Well, let me try to this. like melt it a bit for you. Yeah. How did you get it? Shit. Go try again. Oh, okay. Oh, it's stuck. Oh shit. Wait, wait. Oh, get, get me like a double spoon actually. <laughs> nah, we got it, we got it. But but I feel like we need to melt it more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. give yeah. me the caramel juice. When you eat this, you need to have a torch. Yeah, apparently you need a torch to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just try. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers I kind of like it. It actually tastes like a uh, crab roll. Wait, really? Yeah, man. It tastes similar. Like so, the texture. Okay. Hey, if Dan says this tastes like crab roll, then we did a good job. It's good. It's salty. It has a bit sweetness. It's caramel, although it has hardened. I was hoping it would be like creme brulee. You could break it and then eat it, you know, two different textures, but it didn't really work. Maybe you could like, even make it like creme brulee. Like, just the whole... We were, we, were actually, we were actually contemplating make this whole dish out of panna cotta and like <laughs> like uh, like creme brulee style, but uh, didn't go through with it. But I think this is good. I'm happy with it. I think it tastes pretty good. I think it's a bit salty, but the, the sugar is coming in clutch. That's all I'm saying. Okay, look, Dan, I'm happy with this. You're happy with this, right? Yeah. Our camera guy, happy with it. Our guest, happy with it. Yeah. But is Yan Fei happy with it? There's only one way to find out. Okay, it's purple. Oh shit, I wanted to skip this. It's fine. Okay, okay, okay. We got our first try. Let's uh, go. Yes, oh, what? First time ever. Man. First time ever. First time we got something. We always <laughs> fail in our videos. But I guess at least we were rolling for a four star yeah. instead of a five star. But hey, we're gonna do it again, I think. Uh, I'm, I'm, Constellations? Constellations. Constellations. I'm gonna skip that. Ah, uh, we got a lolly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Pretty wacky. So we got we got Noel, Diona, and Yanfei. One from like one one character from the banner. Uh, each, yeah, one. each one. And I think it's the sign. We did Noel. We did Yanfei. Next up, yeah, who knows? Diona. 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 We're gonna call it now. We're gonna continue eating. Let uh, let the others try this dish a little bit. And um, if you guys enjoyed, hit that like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, family, everyone else you see on the street. And see you guys next time. Yeah. yeah. Peace. Peace.